one of the viewers on YouTube was asking where to get their own 3D uh, printed knitting machine. You have to actually make it yourself. There is a company called Ashcroft Makers that's making one, and this one's very similar to theirs. The only difference that I can see is they have a few extra parts like a yarn um, carrier and uh, also the way it mounts to the table is different. But they're, um, they have a, a long waiting list, and I don't think they're very expensive, so you can go that route if you want to. Um, but I made my own, and I found it by accident after I bought my 3D printer, and I started looking up knitting tools and things like that, and I came across that one, and I knew that I needed, I wanted to make it right away. So um, you just go to thingiverse.com. And you have to um, set up your own login. It's free. And all the files you download on here are free, but you use them at your own risk. So I just, um, I had originally just did a search for knitting, but you would type in sock knitting machine. And this one with this little disc here is just one of the parts on the, the uh, sock machine, but you'll see it here. It says sock knitting machine on it. Um, this was another file that I downloaded. That's the uh, weight buckle, and I really love it. It works really well. So you would go to the sock knitting machine page, and then you would download the files, and they'll, all the parts will download into a compressed folder. Now, you may not want to print all of the parts. I would go and read all the comments that you can find uh, in there, and a lot of people will tell you what they used, what they thought was, was best. Um, the description or the summary that the designer has here, um, they tell you you need knitting machine needles, um, and I'll go into that in a second. And then the screws uh, for to mount some of the parts like, like this. There's not many pieces, but the main thing is the, the knitting machine needles. So let me just kind of go over the parts here. They'll show up real big on here, but this is just a small washer that connects the, um, the uh, small gear to the crank gear to the housing of the machine. This is one of the leg um, braces. So um, I didn't print, I mean, I did print the legs, but I don't use them because they're too wobbly. And a lot of people have commented they don't like them either. So you'd have to decide whether you want to print these parts or not. This one I did not print. It's a cast on basket. This is your main housing. That's the bottom gear. That's the crank gear. And this is one that I resized for my own likes. And there's a place you can download the one that I resized. But the original one, the hole in the middle was a lot larger than where it mounted to. And so the gear was wobbly and so sometimes the teeth wouldn't mesh with the bottom gear so I made mine with this hole really tight and um, it did loosen up over time but that was the way I wanted it I overcompensated so if you do download my file you just have to keep that in mind that uh, you use it at your own risk because it is really tight and I had to use a, uh, a rubber mallet to um, kind of tap it onto the, uh, the housing, but um, it works great. And um, I also changed the pressure of the teeth a little bit so they would mesh better. Um, this is a small piece that um, attaches to the cams to slide them up and down to change your uh, stitch length. You need two of those. Um, this is just a, a foot for the legs. You need two of these cams. That is just a um, attachment to put the legs onto your housing. So if you're not going to print the legs, you don't need these. You would need, I think, four of these. Uh, that's one of the legs. That's the bottom leg. Now this is the crank handle. And you'll see in my files that I redid this. This handle is stationary. So I grabbed a file on Thingiverse that someone had made a handle for a um, 
it's, I think, an old Singer machine, Singer uh, sewing machine. So I redid this part right here, and I made this part separate so that it would swivel uh, when you turn. This one you have to have, it's a 60 slot uh, cylinder. That's where the needles go. And um, I also redid a file and made a 54 slot. So you can download that on the remixes. Now they have a description of the needle that they recommend. And um, the first ones I bought um, were what some people were uh, recommending and they were the Brother uh, Flatbed ribber knitting machine needles and they show you the dimensions here. I think it's um, it tells you 79 millimeters after you cut it, you would cut it right here so that it would fit into the machine. But I found them to be just a little bit too short. So I had an old uh, knitting machine uh, standard gauge singer or studio and um, they were about five millimeters longer. And I have a video on that also, why I chose the longer needles. So um, the Brother River needles will work or the uh, Singer Standard Gauge will work. So um, they work for me. I was getting more tuck stitches. Um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't drop the stitches off below the latch when I was using these shorter needles. So just go and check out the video. You can decide which needles you want to buy. You can find um, knitting machine needles um, on eBay, or you can go to Custom Knits Manufacturing. Um, uh, I might could go to their site here so you can see. Right there. And, and you can go in and buy um, knitting machine needles from them. If you get the 60 slot cylinder, you'll, or if you print the 60 slot, you'll need 60 needles. And, uh, and of course your hardware to put it together and that's about it. But some have asked me if I would sell them a machine. Well, I'm not that great with the 3D printing. I just got my machine not too long ago. And also on Thingiverse, I think when you download these free files and stuff, you're not really supposed to commercialize them. So, um, I'm not willing to do that, uh, but you can probably find someone to, that you can pay to print it for you. So, so in Thingiverse, if you want to see comments that people have made, there's a lot of good information in there of uh, uh, people's opinions about the machine and uh, what they did to make theirs work better or whatever. I got, uh, I did a lot of research before I started making mine. Um, the makes would be pictures uh, that of people that actually made these. And there's a lot of uh, funky colors and stuff that some have done theirs in. And then you can go to um, remixes and you'll find the files where uh, that, like myself, have uh, customized. Like I made a 54 slot cylinder. Um, this is where um, the resized Let's see if I can click on it. The resized uh, Ritzel, which is the crank gear. And um, this is the crank handle. And some have redesigned the legs here. So just explore in the, um, the page for the sock knitting machine. You'll find a lot of information on um, the best parts to use.